Hey cadets, today we'll be talking about a special event occurring on the Bitcoin network called the Bitcoin halving. But what does this even mean? What is getting halved? Is it talking about the number of Bitcoins being cut in half or what? Well, not exactly. Rather, it's a topic that is focused around how new Bitcoins are created. I'm Captain Crypto and welcome back to Cryptonauts. Cryptonauts. In order for us to see the whole picture, we'll have to take a journey into the Bitcoin protocol and break it down piece by piece. First, imagine the Bitcoin protocol as a planet in outer space. Let's be super creative and call it Planet Bitcoin. On this planet, there are a limited number of resources available, 21 million of them. Secondly, imagine us, the space explorers on a mission to extract the resources aka the Bitcoin miners. After landing safely on planet Bitcoin, we step off the spaceship and head inside to one of the many Bitcoin factories. Every factory on this planet is connected through the internet and is constantly communicating with each other. What happens next is a crucial step to the mining process. Pay attention cadets, because one day you too may own a Bitcoin factory. Now. Imagine that every 10 minutes, a new puzzle is presented to all of the factories. It's a race between the factories to see who can solve the puzzle first. After solving the puzzle, it is publicly shown for all the other factories to see. At this time, they will take a look at your puzzle to make sure you didn't cheat. After reviewing your work, they can vote either yes or no. This process of voting is also known as consensus. If everyone votes yes on your puzzle, then you are the winner. These puzzles are known as blocks, and you may now claim your prize, which is called the block reward. And what do you think the reward is? Ah, uh, you guessed it, Bitcoins. New Bitcoins are created every block, and a reward goes to each winner, respectively. When the Bitcoin protocol began in 2009, the reward was 50 Bitcoins per block. However, there's a problem with this steady rate of Bitcoin creation. If 50 Bitcoins were made every 10 minutes, we would hit the limit of 21 million quickly and all the resources would be exhausted within eight years. Without longevity, planet Bitcoin would not be sustainable, much like our own planet if we keep using plastic straws. Well, last one, I promise. So, what's the solution to this? Introducing the Bitcoin halving. Satoshi Nakamoto proposed a way to make the Bitcoin supply stay around longer. He decided the block reward should be reduced by half every four years. Same amount of work and effort, half the payout. But why would he want to do this? Why would anyone want to work the same amount and get paid only half the amount owed? Let's take a quick look at some simple economics, starting with inflation. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, the amount of currency in circulation has been ever increasing. The total amount of money was under $200 billion up until 1986. In 2020, we currently stand at $1.8 trillion. That's an increase of nine times the original amount in the past 34 years. Ooh, yeah, not good. Imagine that Planet Bitcoin has a limited supply of 25 Tamagotchis. It is the year 1970 and it costs $1 to buy one of these precious digital pets. As time progresses, there's more demand for Tamagotchis. However, due to the lack of resources, there can only be 25 Tamagotchis at a time. Because the demand rises while the supply remains the same, the cost per Tamagotchi also rises. By the time 2020 rolls around, the price per Tamagotchi has increased to $5. The increased price of goods and services in an economy over a long period of time is also known as inflation. This also means that the buying power of our currency has decreased because more money has to be put into the economy to keep up with growing demand and rising prices. Satoshi knew this and wanted to make the buying power of Bitcoin increase over time. With the halving, the amount of Bitcoin going into circulation every four years is cut in half, increasing the purchasing power of the coin. According to the Bitcoin source code provided by forum moderator Merch, it states that the subsidy of Bitcoin is cut in half every 210,000 blocks, which will occur approximately every four years. For example, in 2009, it cost you 10 Bitcoins to buy one Tamagotchi. In 2012, it only cost you 5 Bitcoins to buy one. In 2016, it cost 2.5. And, and now, in 2020, it will cost you 1.25 Bitcoins per digital pet. 
The block reward for each block in 2009 was 50 bitcoins. Two halvings have occurred since then, and the third halving is scheduled to take place this May of 2020, cutting the current block reward of 12.5 to 6.25. At the time of writing, Bitcoin was at 10,000 USD each. If I had held on to my Bitcoin from back in the day, that means I would have a girlfriend. There will be a total of 64 halvings that will take place before the block reward reaches zero. This means that the last Bitcoin will be mined around the year 2140 and we won't be around anymore. Until then, I hope you enjoyed our breakdown of the Bitcoin halving. If you did, feel free to comment and hit the subscribe button for more videos. And remember, HODL, secure your crypto, and may Satoshi and Vitalik be with you always. Cryptonauts.